Thank you all for being here. Let's get started. Wow, great attitude, Ron. Sorry, I was talking to these ribs. Okay, so the Valentine's Day dance is planned, prepped, and under budget, but we have one final task. Ann Perkins is currently attending the Valentine's Day dance alone, so I need each one of you to bring an eligible bachelor for her tomorrow. Ann's not totally hideous. Why does she need our help? Because that's what friends do, April. They help friends find happiness. Now, the last guy she liked was Chris, but she can't date him again because he's her boss. So when we're thinking of prospective sweethearts, we need to think of people who are attractive and smart and kind. And if you're wondering what kind of guy is right for Anne, all you need to do is ask. Also, you need to find someone educated and friendly and fun. Just tell us the damn word. Effervescent, he needs to be effervescent. Quick question about Anne. Does anyone know if she has any Indian in her? No one respond. No one say anything. Why? I'm just curious if Anne has a little Indian in her. Silence. I don't think she does. Would she like some? No! Anne! Looks like you already met Jeff. Well, you didn't tell me that your friend was so beautiful. Aw, thanks, Wait, Jeff. Not as beautiful as my sister, but you know the law. <laughs> oh, what? No, Jeff. How am I supposed to find the love of Anne's life when it sounds like a funeral in here? There's no change in it as long as Chris is depressed. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Chris. You go help Anne. She's not responding to my top candidates, so we're gonna have to go with some wild cards. Got it. And April, mm. thanks for nothing. Why should I do anything to help her? Because despite the fact that all you do is give her a hard time, she would do this for you. Just go hide under the table with your friend, Oren. Yeah, I see you, weirdo. So, Leslie dragged you into the sneaky little fix-up scheme, huh? We're stuck at a Parks and Rec community couples event. What else you gotta do? What the hell? You're right. Bring him on, Tom. I'm Harris. Heard you were desperate for a man piece. Are we in business? He's 33 years old, still lives with his parents, and he's been to at least 200 fish concerts. <laughs> Try 308. I'm gonna have to pass right now. Your mistake, mama. So, Bill, this stunning woman saves lives for a living. What do you bring to the table? Uh, where to begin? Uh, I'm an amateur juggler. Nope, you shouldn't have begun there. Get out. No one's trying to get with jugglers. Thanks for playing. Anne, you tricky bastard. Leslie, what are you doing? Look at Anne. She's putting on makeup. She's using the emergency mini curling iron that I gave her. She has a date. You don't know that. Why wouldn't she tell me who it is? because she doesn't want me to know, because it's someone she shouldn't be dating. Wait, the music's better. Have you seen Chris? I don't know, maybe he's in the bathroom or something. She's going to meet Chris. I cannot wait to see the look on Chris's remarkably youthful face when we march in there and confront them whoa, whoa, about whoa, whoa, whoa. all the- Listen. What? I know. What do you mean you know? How do you know? Because I set them up. I was watching Anne with Tom at the dance, and she seemed to be having a good time. So I went over and talked to her. What are you looking for in a date, anyway? I don't know. What does anyone want? Just a nice, funny guy who likes me and treats me well. Tom's funny, and he treat you well. Ha, ha. I'm serious. You want a good date, why not ask out the only guy that's made you smile tonight? He's ridiculous. All that dumb swagger? It's an act. He's sweet. You should just ask him out for a drink. I'm a thousand percent sure he'd say yes. I bet you guys would have a good time. Man, I need to like wrap my head around this. Why, it makes sense to me. This is a small loser town, loser people. And Tom's like at least semi-cool. You know what I'm hearing? You tried to make Anne happy for Valentine's Day. Ugh, you're a very nice what? person. No. Very nice. Yes, you are. Very nice Bye. person. Bye. Okay, I do not understand this. This really confuses me. Well, you do love them both. Yeah, but I love passionate speakers and Italian men. Doesn't mean I love Mussolini. You love Italian men? Not as much as Irish. Scottish? White, whatever you are. This is the weirdest Valentine's Day ever. So, Anne, it's finally happening. <laughs>
Dude, this is so close to falling apart. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Can I be honest though? I'm a little freaked out. Like, I don't really understand what's going on. This is what's going on. We're gonna have a drink and we're gonna talk, get to know each other, and then I am going to drive home alone. Cool, consider this alternate plan. We have drinks here, get to know each other, whatever. Then we go back to my place, snuggle up like little bunnies. Yeah, this was a mistake. No! Oh, hey, God. Boo Boo Bear. What did you just call me? Boo Boo Bear. It's one of several nicknames I made up for you. And you can choose which one you like best, because I want this to be a give and take. Okay, we went out once and nothing happened. There is no this. We have Cookie Tush. Wow, just right out the gate. Winnie the Boo, Lady Presh Presh, Annberry Sauce, Annie Get Your Boo, Tommy's Girl, Annie Benin. Hey! All right, let's do this. What are you doing? Is this not one of those? Might have misread the vibe. Oh my God, dude. You have to be cooler about this. Look, I told Leslie because she's my best friend, but if anybody finds out about this and they start jabbering, it's gonna make it really hard to know if this is actually anything. So just keep it on the DL, okay? I feel like you're embarrassed by me. That is accurate. Can at least change my Facebook status to in a relationship? Definitely not. It's complicated? <sighs> Whatever. Am I in a relationship? It's complicated. Catch your dreams. Dramatic spirits brings it fly away. Stop the song! Stop Catch the song right now! Please stop it! Oh, for <laughs> sake. And I caught feelings for you. Now I want you to be my girl. And I don't care who knows. I know you don't care, dummy. I care. Let's not get hung up on who wants what. You know what? I'm calling this. We're done. What about our next date? If you want another date, keep walking away. He's still walking. Nice work, guys. Hey, a little uh, tradition after Mouse Rat records, someone buys me booze. Who's gonna be? <laughs> All right, look. I know I messed up, but there's something I gotta say to you. No playbook, no gimmicks. Just me, Tom, talking to you as a person. Okay, I would like that. Good, because this is what I really want to say. Baby, I'm sorry for how I acted. But if you give me another chance, I could be the boo of your dreams, girl. So when you're sleeping and you're dreaming of a boo, I want that boo to be me. I want me to be that boo. So will you date me? I'm saying Okay, baby, yes, fine, baby, fine, fine. Baby, yes, baby, I will. Baby, I will go out baby, with you. Enough, baby. please. Really? Yes. Dude, you wore me down. Just stop singing, please. The four sweetest words in the English language. You wore me down. Sorry, Anne. You can't open this gift. This is for the most beautiful girl in Pawnee. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, that's you. Wow. Yeah, and look, I got one too. Matching his and hers. So I'm Tommy's girl and you're just Tom? Why not Anne's man? <laughs> Nobody owns me cupcake, not even you. You can either burn these hats in a fire or you can use a blowtorch. How about this option? We put the hats on. Don't say it. We take everything else off. These Kango hats are exactly like the one Samuel L. Jackson wore to the Latin Grammys. How could you not like them? I don't know. It's like somehow everything I do with her is wrong. Dude, seriously, leave me out of this. I kind of set up Tom and Anne, and now they won't stop asking me for advice, which is a really bad move on their part because I really don't care what happens to them. Or anyone. Is that genuine? Mm-hmm. Why do you have Genuine's platinum record on your wall? Why do you have a photo of you with Genuine at some place? Oh, have I never talked about this before? Genuine's my cousin. Genuine? The Genuine is your cousin? How do I not know this? Who is Genuine? Genuine? Genuine is genuine. He's genuine. Saying his name over and over again is not gonna help me. He's an R&B singer, pony, differences. Do you really not know who genuine is? I know that he's Donna's cousin. When I'm dating someone, I have a list called my own no-nos. 
If a woman commits an oh no no, it can end the relationship. Not loving 90s R&B music is number three on the oh no no's list. Girl don't even know who Genuine is. Here's a fun game. Let's talk minimum acceptable thread count for sheets. Oh, that does sound fun. Stop me when I hit it. 1,000, 800, 700, 600. Man, I'm at 600, are you really not stopping me? I have those cotton t-shirt sheets. Huh? It's always the most beautiful ladies who hurt you the worst. She's never seen a single Paul Walker movie. That's a huge oh no no. She also doesn't care about Blu-ray. She's a monster. April, this is serious. I might have to break up with Anne. Yeah, well then break up with her. But she's my dream girl. Then don't break up with her. Except she hates everything I like. I own more pairs of Uggs than she does. I was getting kind of sick of listening to Tom and Anne talk about their relationship, but then I remembered that alcohol existed. Thank you, alcohol. What the hell is wrong with Tom? Don't know. It's like I'm dating some idiotic game show host. He is driving me crazy with these stupid questions. Well, soon it won't matter. Why, what did he tell you? Nothing. Wait, is he gonna break up with me? I don't know, I'm... No, 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 no. That's not how this ends, okay? I break up with him. I think I will celebrate with a drink. You told April you were breaking up with me? Anne, we consistently disagree on who wore it best. You still use an iPad one. You read books all the time. Okay. How about my own no-nos for you? You make me see terrible movies and then you talk through them. You put 20-inch rims on your Volkswagen Golf and you insist on being introduced as the brown gosling. Everything you just said makes me like me more. But I can't take it anymore, okay? I'm breaking you up. You guys are done. Fine, Fine with me. Fine. Oh, April. I'm drunk. You made me drunk. You made me drunk. And you. No, no, give it a rest. I need it. Uh, I need it. Okay. Fine. Let's get you to bed. You know, why are you guys even fighting anyway? It's so stupid. I hate him because of this stupid reason. And I hate Tom for this stupid reason. Who cares? Wake up. Jerry's here. Mm. April. April. Hey. Hi. Hi. Why is your arm around her? I broke you up. Well, we got back together again because of what you said. What do you mean? I didn't say anything. Yeah, when we were carrying you to bed, you correctly pointed out that we were arguing about stuff that was stupid. And so we talked it out and I apologized and he apologized and now everything's great. Thanks. No, I'm drunk. Don't listen to me. No. See you out there. No. Is the coast clear? What are you wearing? My sneak around clothes. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Come in. You gotta see this. Tom and I have been seeing each other for a few weeks and I think I'm ready to say I love you to his apartment. I love you so much. Look at all these blankets. One on the ottoman, one on the chair, one on the couch. Here, feel. Holy oh. hell, that's soft. Oh my God, is that? Yep, a whole shelf of coconut water. I think I'm gonna cry. This is like girl heaven. Did he do all of this just for you? No, he just lives like this. He's deeply in debt, but you know what? Who cares? Cause check it out. Cheese plate and Adriatic figs. Leslie, this is always here. I don't know when he has time to make it. Boutique eye cream, unisex cologne, lip exfoliator, chocolate covered almonds, and a Sudoku book. Just amenities everywhere. I love amenities. I know. Check this out, this is the best part. 80 degrees, night and day. <gasps> Get this one. There's another soft one. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to clean up for the party, but I swear to God, my arms can't move that way. Leave it messy. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Life is garbage. What happened? Anne broke up with me. For reals this time. And all I did was call her this radio station and give her a sweet little shout out. So we're up in the club. It's me. We're dancing. We're sweating. Let's just say we got to second that night. Kind of. Me so horny. This chick's name is Ann Perkins. Look her up on the government website. She is crazy hot. Isn't that great? Yeah. Ah! I complimented you. I guess she's just afraid of how powerful her feelings are. Dude, that's not why she broke up with you. You have to stop your stupid swagger and just tell her in a normal voice that you care about her. What do you know? You don't care about things? Yes, I do. 
I care about Andy and Champion, and I want Leslie to win, and I like sleeping, so everybody has things they care about. If Anne is yours, you need to tell her. Okay, Chris, hypothetical crisis. Leslie just tried to answer a question and audibly farted, then threw up. Spin. Leslie Nope is literally overflowing with ideas for this town. And speaking of methane, have you heard about her plan to limit greenhouse gas emissions? Wow. <laughs> Spin team! <laughs> Anne and I make such a great team. It's silly that we're not a team in real life. I just heard those words come out of my mouth and I've made a decision. I've heard that you and Tom Haverford are no longer romantically involved, is that true? Yes, we broke up, and I honestly can't believe we ever dated. It does defy logic. Okay, I still have feelings for you. Strong feelings, emotional, primal feelings. And I would like to give our relationship another try. Chris, we dated for like three months a year ago. I honestly think that you've built this into something that it wasn't. And according to your rule, we can't date because you're my boss. Maybe not for long. If Newport wins, the city council may replace me, but it would open it up for us to be together. Would you like that? Don't answer. Just think about it. Come on, let's spin. What is wrong with you? We're fighting for our lives out there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the fact that we just broke up and you're already riding the Traeger train. What are you talking about? I saw you guys getting back together. What about us? What about us, Tom? We're not together anymore because you keep acting like an ass. I'm sorry. I just act that way sometimes because I'm nervous and I feel like you're out of my league. But I'd do anything to get back together with you. Please, vote for me to be your boyfriend. And Perkins. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Chris. It's very flattering. I just, I just don't think it's a good idea. It was worth a shot. Well, I hope that whoever you end up with treats you like the amazing person that you are. Thank you. And I am going to go run some stairs and work through these feelings. Is he sad? Oh my God. He looks sad. I'm not going out with Chris again. Does that mean we're getting back together? No. I don't know. No, not right now. There's a chance I'm never going to date anyone ever again. I'll take it. And you know what else? I'm coming for you, girl. Just like you want. Just get out there and spin, man. You got it. Leslie Nope is scrappy like a terrier. She's smooth like a blended whiskey. My girl has big ideas and big feelings, and she's not afraid to express them. Where is Swanson? Man, I'm hungry and my legs are tired. Ugh. Feels like I just exercised. Just sit on the ground. No, Jerry. It's dirty and I'm wearing my summer linens. God, you're such a baby. Look, I brought a picnic blanket from your house. That's not a picnic blanket. That's a merino wool throw for my Eames chair. Ugh. Do I sense trouble in the Haverford Perkins household? No such luck, Donna. Ann and Tom, AKA Haverkins, stronger than ever. Everyone said it wouldn't last. And it didn't. Shocking that our drunken plan to move in together wasn't a success. Let's move in together. Psst, totally. No take backs when we sober up, though, partner. No take backs, partner. <laughs> After the first day, we realized we had made a huge mistake. Huge. However, everyone was being so smug about it, saying there's no way it would last, so we're pretending to still be together. That way, no one gets the satisfaction of being right, even though they are, but still. More importantly, I bet Donna a thousand dollars that we'd be together for another month. Can't stress this enough. If she finds out that we broke up, I'll go bankrupt. Oh my God, did you put glitter in the laundry detergent? Oh yeah, I'm experimenting with some new entrepreneurial ideas. That one's called Sparkle Suds. Dress loud. God, will you stop putting glitter in everything? This morning you put glitter in the butter. Disco dairy, spread the party. No, that's not a good idea. That's terrible. Well, the target demographic isn't angry middle-aged nurses. Oh, Wait. you know what, Shh, stop it. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna get in line for some food. Y'all want anything? We're good, we're really good. No, nope. just spend a little time with my baby girl. Mm. Ew. Get off me. Ann, what the hell? <laughs> I put glitter in all your moisturizers and lotions. I'm calling it Sparkle Skin by Annie. Twinkle, twinkle, big star. Ann, 
That is an amazing idea, and I will buy it from you. But never do that again. That was really expensive moisturizer. Yeah, well, you ruined all of my clothes. Well, then I did you a huge favor, because they stink. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, hello, lovers. Oh. Tom, you're amazing. Kiss me more. Uh-huh. All right, enough of this. Y'all broke up a long time ago, didn't you? No, we're stronger than ever, so. It's all right. I'm gonna let y'all have this one. As someone who has lied a lot about various aspects of a myriad of relationships, I respect the effort you've gone to. Let's call off the bet. Thanks, Donna. No problem. I guess that's it. Yep, the end of a relationship and the beginning of a partnership. Let's talk sparkle skin. Do we know anyone in product development over at Sephora? Goodbye, Tom.